This training video is to show you how to use the Tracks Diagram tool within the Tracks Crash Form. First, go to the Diagram field and select Tracks Diagram and click Open. You will notice several icons located under the Home, Edit, and Layout tabs. If you place the cursor over any of the icons, you will see a label that will tell you what each of them are. Once the diagram tool is open, you can change the zoom percentage under the Home tab as well as the drawing area by simply clicking on the down arrow and changing it to the desired zoom percentage. You can toggle the grid on or off by clicking on the Show Grid icon located under the Home tab. On the left, you will see several symbol palettes to choose from. Directional, roads, intersections, objects, signs, vehicles, and labels. Under the road palette, choose a road. Once you've selected the road, hold down the left mouse button and drag the road to your diagram. If you need to make the road longer, you cannot grab the end of the roadway and extend it. This will just stretch the road and not keep its original value. In order to make a roadway longer, you can either drag another section of roadway from the road palette, or while a roadway is highlighted, you can hit Control c and then Control v to paste another copy of that road segment. The other option you have is while the roadway is highlighted, you can right click and click copy, right click again and click paste to make another copy of the road segment. To get the roadways to line up, click on the home tab and click on the snap roads to grid button. Make sure that is highlighted. Take the left mouse button and drag the road up as close as possible to the road segment that you wish to attach it to. Let off on the mouse and it should attach the roadway. In order to move another segment, just tap once on your mouse pad to highlight that section of roadway. Hold down the left mouse and drag it up as close as possible. And let off on the left mouse button. If we wanted to make this a T intersection, this bottom horizontal road segment, there's a couple different ways that we can spin this around. If you click once on the mouse pad and highlight the road, you'll notice there's a rotate circle above. If you hold your left mouse button down, you can turn this section of roadway around. Then you can move it into position. Another way that we can make this road facing vertical, I'll first hit the undo button to bring us back, is instead of moving the rotate circle, if you go over to the left side, you can go down to rotation angle. If you click on that, there is a down arrow. If you hit the drop down arrow and click on 90, you can spin it around to a 90 degree angle, and then you can move the road segment up into position. If we wanted to move this entire roadway at this point, if you hold your left mouse button down and drag your cursor, you can make a box around the entire section. If you let off, you will now see a rotate circle for the entire roadway section. You can now position this roadway at any angle that you choose. Once the roadways are in place, click on the vehicle palette and choose the vehicle that you wish to use. If you hold the left mouse button down and drag it onto your diagram, if you let go of that left mouse button, you will notice the rotate circle. You can either move that vehicle by holding the left mouse button and rotating that vehicle, or under rotation angle, if you click on it and click on the drop down, you can then move the vehicle that way as well. So now that we've moved the vehicle, if you wish to put it into position, you have several different options on how to bring additional vehicles out onto this diagram. We can either drag another vehicle over here, or while this vehicle is highlighted, we can hit Control C and Control V to cut and paste, or while this vehicle is highlighted, you can right click, click on copy, 
and then right click again and click on paste. Again, we'll use the rotation circle to move this vehicle around and into position. If we need to move this vehicle or make this vehicle in motion, what you will do is click on the layout tab at the top. While the vehicle is highlighted, you'll click toggle in motion. What this will do is this now put dashes on the vehicle. You will notice this is the symbol for a vehicle in motion. To label the vehicles, you have a couple different options. Under the vehicle palette, there's this unit label. You can drag it over and place it on the vehicle. If you need to change the number when you move it over, if you double click within the box of where the number is, you can simply change the number in that box. The other way is if you go to the Home tab and click on the A for text, make sure it's highlighted. Anywhere on the diagram screen, hold the left mouse button down and make a tiny box. You can then put a number in that box and then you can move that number over and onto the vehicle, giving you a couple different options on how to label the vehicles. To label the roadways, make sure that you're under the Home tab. Click on the A for the text. Make sure it's highlighted. Hold down the left mouse button and make a rectangle. When you let off of it with the left mouse button, you'll notice there's an area that you can type in. Once you type in that, if you tap once off of it, you can then grab that and move that street name wherever you need it. Again, to do the next street, click on the A for the text field. Make sure it's highlighted. Hold the left mouse button down to make a rectangle. And then you can type within the box. Tap once off of it. You can hold with your left mouse button down and drag that street name to the desired position. If you wish to put arrows under the street names, if you click on the directional symbol palette, there's an arrow. You can hold the left mouse button and drag it onto the diagram. There's also a double arrow that you can drag onto the diagram to shrink it down. If you grab one of the ends of it, you can shrink it down and then move that underneath the street name as well. Under the directional symbol palette, you also have your north indicator that you can drag and place on the screen as well. If you wish to place a not to scale icon on your diagram, if you go to the tracks labels, there's a not to scale that you can drag onto your diagram as well. To draw a line on the diagram, first go to the home tab located at the top of the screen and click on the line icon. You're going to hold down the left mouse button to drag the line down. When you let off of that left mouse button, it will create the line for you. If you highlight that line at the top, you will see line size. If you click on the drop down menu, you can change the thickness of that line. You can also change the thickness of the line before you draw the line. For demonstration purposes, I'll change the line size to 15. Click on the line icon, draw a line, and when you let off the left mouse button, you'll have it as the line size. To place a sign on the diagram, click on the sign symbol palette to the left, scroll down until you find the sign that you're looking for, hold the left mouse button down and drag it onto your screen. You notice that you have the rotate circle that you can rotate this sign around there if you wish, or under the transformations area, you don't have the drop down to pick degrees, you simply can type in what degree that you want to rotate that sign. In this case we're going to type in 270. You could also type in minus 90. It will also do the same thing. If you hit the tab key we can rotate that sign around. 
if you wish to make the sign a little bit smaller if you highlight the sign just grab any corner of the box just kind of drag it in at an angle and you can make the sign bigger or smaller if you need to as well to make a curve click on the curve icon located under the home tab make sure that it is highlighted I'm going to scroll down to a clean section of roadway to make the curve you're going to click on the left mouse button one time and you'll notice you can start to make a line if you move to the left or right that stays as a straight line so as you're drawing each time that you click on the left mouse button it will begin to make that curve for you and the more times you click it the sharper that you can make a curve once you're done making the curve if you right click one time it will stop making that curve you can right click and copy if you wish to make a duplicate of that curve right click again and click paste and then you can move that other section over if you are making a roadway with a curve. There are several other shapes that you can use under the home tab. We're going to click on the polygon icon, make sure that it is highlighted. If you left click once, you can start to draw a line, and each time that you left click one time, you can change the direction of this line and we will just for demonstration purposes change it a few times once you're done doing the drawing if you right click you can either rotate it or move it to wherever you need that drawing to delete an item that you have drawn simply hold the left mouse button down put a box around the entire area that you wish to delete and hit the delete key to show how to change the order of an object, we're going to take vehicle number one and we're going to make it striking vehicle number two. You will notice that the stop bar is over the car. So what we want to do is highlight vehicle number one, click on layout, tab at the top, you want to click on order, the drop down and click on bring to front. When you do that you can see the car is now over the stop bar. We want to highlight the number that was on the car and before we move that over to the car we want to move that to the front as well. So you want to click on order again. We want to bring the number to the front and now we can move that number back on top of the vehicle for labeling. Once you have completed your diagram, you will then click on the X located in the top right of the screen. It will then place that diagram on your track's crash form.